Hi everybody, glad you could join me today here on Denny Murray Art on the YouTube. And today, as I said, we're going to do a nice painting. It's going to be kind of a sunsetty painting, and we're going to have some silhouetted trees going up in there. It's going to be really nice. Okay, here's the palette. Okay, now I'll tell you what I've got on the palette. Okay, I've got ivory black, and this is zinc titanium white. I've got a lemon yellow, a yellow medium, orange, violet, and a phthalo blue. Those colors are really all we need to take care of this painting. Okay, so let me move the palette out of the way. We are using acrylic, and uh, we're just going to have we're going to have a good time together today. Okay, now let me get. My trusty brush. Okay, the the canvas has already been toned with a uh, with an ochre. Okay, and this will give us a nice underglow to uh, help our painting. Okay, and this is this is what we want. We I always like to tone the canvas because I want to get rid of that white that I really don't like staring me in the face. Okay, now with that said, okay, we're going to go ahead. And we are going to start the painting. Okay, so I'm going to dig into my, going to dig into my white. I'm going to dig in to the, to the lemon yellow. Okay, I'm going to dig in there. We got a real, real, real nice color. Okay, and we're just going to be applying this. And we're, we want this to be painterly. Okay, so I'm not going to be trying to hide brush strokes with it. I want them there. I want I want the viewer to be able to see it. As you can see, I'm just bringing chunks of paint up here. Okay, and I'm just just laying it down like that. I'm letting it kind of run off of of the brush. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe a little off of that brush and I'm going to go into the into the yellow medium. Okay. We're going, to, we're going to throw some of that up out and in there like that. Okay, we'll just kind of join them up together like that. The thing we the thing we want to remember is that we're just we're just having fun, okay? I mean, the future of the free world isn't depending on us. Now, I add just a little bit of that orange into that yellow, okay, just to give it a little different flavor, okay, just like that, just a little different flavor, like that, okay, just, just keeping it nice like this, okay, just like that, okay. Got a good start. Now, I'm going to take that paint out of the brush. Now I'm going to come in to the zinc titanium, okay? And I'm going to lay that down because we're starting a transition now over to where the blue is going to be, okay? We're starting our transition. We want to just pull one color into the other one like that, okay? Okay, just like that. It's relatively easy painting to do. And notice how the, how the tone on the, on the canvas is actually is actually helping. Now you can do this in oils too, no problem. You're going to do it essentially the same way. But with the acrylics, you see, we can actually uh, do it just a little, just a little easier. Now I'm coming into some of my blue. 
Okay, I don't want a lot of it in the white right now. Okay, I don't want a bunch of it there. Because we're starting to transition over. Okay. See? See, there's just very little there. Just a hint. Okay. And we're just transitioning. Okay. I left that paint in the brush because it had some orange in it. And that orange is actually acting as a as a buffer between the between the yellow and the blue. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got a nice transition there. I'm I'm really I'm really happy with that transition. We know what we're gonna do here. We not we're we're not gonna be surprised. Okay. Okay, now I'm adding I'm adding more blue more blue into this because we're starting to go into into a nighttime color. Okay, and it's going to get darker as we get out here. Okay, we're just putting the blue down just like this. Okay, and I just reach in and I just pull some of the white into it. Like this. Okay, just reach out, pull a little white in. Okay, there we are. Now, I'm going to take violet and blue, okay, and just a touch of the black, just a touch, okay. They got this very, very dark, deep violet color. Oh, look at there. I'm going to start over here because it's going to wear off of the brush a bit before we get, before we get over there, and that's what that's what I want it to do. Just wear off of the brush. We're just using a little crisscross hatchy type strokes just like this. Okay. Pick up a little bit more paint. Okay. We'll pick up some more paint just like that. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to start moving in here. Okay, we're picking up some of the some of the white. Okay, so that we do this nice nice transition. Into our our dark, which is essentially going to be perceived as a night sky. Okay, this is this is the darker area. Just like this. Okay, we just let it go dark. Now I'm using a filbert. I happen to I happen to have a lot of like for a filbert brush. So I will do as much painting with a filbert as I can. Simply because I have a lot of confidence in the brush. Okay, just like that. Now, we're going to come down here. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of, little bit of gray into that. We're, okay, just a little bit of gray in with that. Now we're just touching here like this. Just like this. And this is going to be partly fog, partly partly ground, whatever our eye perceives it as. And in a minute we'll have this whole thing covered. And that's that's what we're really shooting for at this instant in time. We want to get this thing covered. And as we're working on it, of course, this is drying and that's that's what we want. We want to dry and ready to start putting some some tree silhouettes in. Okay. 
just like that. Now I'm going to clean, I'm going to clean the brush up. I don't do that any more than I have to because I kind of like there to be a, a blending of the paint. Okay. Okay. There we go. This is just kind of, this is just kind of wispy. So we just wisp it up. See, just like that. Just short little upstrokes like that. That wisps. Now we need to make that a little bit darker. Okay, and we can do that. Okay, we can do that. We can put a little of this in. We just chop it in like that. Okay. And we'll just pull it up like that. You know, I'm so glad that you guys have started watching my my YouTube channel here that that means a lot to me okay now I just want to darken this area a little bit more right in here I want that just a little darker just a little darker like that There isn't a particular formula to this part of it other than just if it feels right, if it's if it's making your vision that you have of the completed painting, if it's making that vision come to life, then it's what you want. Okay. Okay, it's what you want. And this is making my vision come to life. Okay. Now, 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 he said. I think we're pretty much done with the big boy brush. Okay. Pretty much done with the big brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. You want to be sure when you're using acrylics that you get that brush really clean. Because when that acrylic dries in there, it's all over. That brush will never be the same. Now, I'm staying with a filbert, as you can see, but it's a smaller one. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to lighten this area up in here. I want that just a little lighter, and I have a reason for that. There we go. Get a lighter area in here. Alrighty, there we go. Phase one is done. We have the canvas covered. We have our main colors all blocked in right where we want them. And now, he said, hopefully, now we're going to start Putting in some far away trees that are pretty much getting lost in the glow. Okay, so I'm putting some black. I got a little orange, I got a little yellow, okay, and I got some black in it. And we're just going to come out here wherever it kind of feels good. Okay, see? We're just going to pull some shapes just like that. Now I'm going to touch the brush to the cleaning rag after each one of these because I am picking up paint. And I may not necessarily want that paint showing 
everywhere. But we do need these, we do need these far away fellers. We truly need them. Okay. Now I add a little more pigment to it, okay? And we pick up some more, like that. And I know they're not too visible, but they're not supposed to be. Okay. Now we can bring some a little closer, like that. There we go. We'll pull some closer. Now we're going to pull some up in here too, like that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to push a little bit harder, like that. Okay. I can also come down like that with shapes. And you can see how the forest is beginning. I'm going to get back in this one's face just a little bit. I'm going to pull that down like that. The same thing with this one. There we go. Like that. This painting has got a lot of minimum stuff in it. Not a lot of, not a lot of major. Okay. We'll start at the top. As I come down, I'm going to press harder. We're just going to let him disappear into the mist. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, we'll clean the brush. Clean the brush. Okay, and then we'll just, we'll just move some mist around. Kind of like that. Yeah, just like that. Okay, if you hear a dog yipping in the background, that's because it's, it's out in the other room. And I'm... And I'm away from it, but I can't get totally away. So please excuse the dog yipping. He's talking because he's he's hungry and they don't seem to be too interested in um, feeding him. And he gets upset. Okay. Let's, let's pull, this, pull this one down like that. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And... Uh, you know, I think, I think we're pretty good. I think we're getting there pretty good. Okay. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. This is all about mist. Like the black and white that we did the other day in the speed lessons. This is like it's, it's colored counterpart. Okay. And I love, I love paintings like this that just leave a lot to, uh, to think about. Like, what is going on there? Well, what's going on there is a lot of mist. Now, he said, hopefully, I'm going to come into the, come into the orange some of the yellow, okay, and just a little touch of the purple. I'm going to put some white in it to make a, to make a, a brighter part of it. Okay, now I'm going to come up here and right in here we're going to start. Well, I need a little bit more orange in there so he shows up. Okay, I'm going to come up here. And we're going to do this. Okay. We're going to just come down like that. Okay. A little bit of finger blend there. Like that. Now... Now, we will just put a 
dot here, like that. And with that, we now have a person in our painting. Okay, I want it just a little more intense. Now, let's just extend some of these trees here, like that. Let's put, put a few in here, like that, and a few more out here. And, uh, I think we're awfully close to calling this picture painted. We don't need a lot of foliage. In fact, we don't absolutely have to have any foliage whatsoever. Because what there is is pretty much being lost in the sunset. As you can see, all I'm really doing is just scumbling a little bit in here and there. Okay, just like that, just a little here and there. And if you were thinking maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of something there just to indicate, well, maybe, maybe, maybe there's some, there's some grass in there somewhere. We can do that. This is a very, very, very simple little painting that uh, we haven't spent a whole lot of time doing. And there is one person that's left that absolutely has to be in there. And you know his name as well as I do. Scrappy Branch has got to go in the painting. And here is Scrappy. There he is. There he is. in all his scrappiness, in all his scrappiness. So with that, guys, I appreciate you being here. And just remember, they don't all have to be complicated. Nice, simple, simple shapes. Can, can afford you a very, very nice painting. We'll have more paintings coming up soon. I thank you so much for being here. I thank you so much for subscribing. Please, if you're new, if you just came across us today and you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. That way I know how I'm doing. And if there's something you want to see in particular, a technique you want to see or whatever, be sure to ask. And uh, I'll do my best to 
accommodate you. So until next time, this is Denny for Denny Murray Art, bidding you a good day. And uh, as always, paint on, my friends, paint on.